didn't you didn't have art at your old school? Oh, no. So is this the first time you've ever had any? Yeah. And what grade are you in? Seventh. So you, you didn't have art until seventh grade? So in the six years I've been working here, we've had an art teacher, K-8, to we've lost an art teacher, K-8, to we've gained another art teacher, K-8, to and we've lost her again for next year. It's not tested, so schools for compliance purposes have to keep core content teachers for grade levels that are tested. Your pieces are beautiful. When you have to trim the fat off of a very lean animal, art is the first thing to go, which is horrifying because it's not actually representative of how important the arts is. It doesn't represent our values to eliminate that, but it's what, it's just the way that things shake out. In our school where we have um, seven separate grade levels and multiple strands and roughly five classes at each grade level, there is one art teacher, so only, um, only part of our student population each year gets to have a regular art class. They might go multiple years without an art class. Wow. So you can just have a background behind. It was shocking when my son, we were applying to go to public school in Boston, and um, he got in um, Josiah Quincy Elementary School in kindergarten, and it was, to our surprise, um, shocking surprise. They didn't have any art. But what we did is that we wanted to be part of the solution. So I took it up on myself to mobilize the community and the parents. And then some classroom teachers also came on board. And we've been doing this together for three years. <laughs> if you try to make it perfect, it'll be, it'll feel, it'll feel less alive. Try to make it too perfect. We're a full inclusion school, and so we have students with a wide array of reading levels, writing abilities, disabilities. Um, and so the reason why I joined this project with Sarah was because I wanted my students to have a more diverse array of opportunities for how they engage with content and curriculum, express themselves, and take things in. And art is something that I grew up with. I really believe in it, but didn't have the skill set to teach it. And so being able to work with someone who has that skill set combined with the thematic content of what we're learning in class has been really awesome. Is it, is it all this area, yeah. like up to here? Yeah. So, so I love seeing their ideas um, kind of develop and like they, they just approach things in a really new way. So like for me, it allows me to see things, you know, things that I've considered in art um, in, a, in a totally new way. Um, there's just like, as you can tell, there's so much energy in here. I'm so excited about that. Looks so good. Kids who have very little control in their own lives get to have these ideas, create them down, share them with their, share them with other people, express who they are, and that's so incredibly important. So everyone has a chance to share. Angel, can you hold up your comic, please? Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed with how in tune they are with the world. I don't think I was at that age. Our mission is really to empower students to become innovators and creative thinkers by integrating art and design with literacy and STEM education. They're not necessarily going to be all artists. One of them or two or three might be, but actually art will help them set them up for success. Testing doesn't tell you who you are what kind of person you're going to be and are you going to innovate or are you going to be creative? We've already seen it. Kids who are in middle school, high school now, going into college, lifting their voices, using art as activism. And the younger kids, the kids who are still in that elementary, are showing all of those interests. I love it. Edison. I'm hoping that one day we we'll be able to serve a lot of kids regionally and nationally and help and also build long-lasting relationships. Do you want to try? We're not looking for a, a short fix. We don't want a one-time support. 
we want to be with, with people that, that really care about this for a long time. We have to get this, everyone together to build bridges, to bring the community so we can bring creativity and innovation. Three, two, one.